The roughing options will allow the selection of a suitable pattern for the cutting tool to follow while roughing the pocket. I'll select the roughing tab. Make sure the roughing checkbox is enabled. And as you can see there are many roughing techniques. The default one will be the last pocket cutting method I used and it is shown here. The pictures describe the cutting method and when selecting the cutting method I'm attempting to select the one which will have the shortest cutting time. Often I'll switch between several and watch the cycle time to determine the best method. For now I'll select the zigzag cutting method. I'll set the step over percentage to 70. Leave the minimize tool barrier option enabled and notice how the spiral inside to out is grayed out as it is not an option for this cutting method. I won't enable display the stock for constant spiral overlap since it only slows down the process. I'll accept the remaining default value. For now as I want to compare the various cutting methods cycle times. I'll accept these selections and click on the toolpath to open the backplot simulator. I'll select the info and see that the current cycle time is roughly 27 seconds. I'll close the backplot simulator. By looking at the blue feed lines I can see the zigzag pattern here. Next I'll select the parameters for this operation and change the cutting method to constant overlap spiral. I'll accept this change and regenerate the toolpath. Again, I'll go to the backplot simulator, expand the info, and I can now see the cycle time is almost 29 seconds. As far as cutting time is concerned, the zigzag method was the better choice. I'll close the simulator and try one more method. I'll select the parameters again and then try the more spiral and accept this change. I'll regenerate the toolpath, select the bat plot simulator, the info. Again, I can see this path has a cycle time of almost 34 seconds. I'll exit the simulator, select the parameters, and set the cutting method back to zigzag. I'll accept this change and regenerate the toolpath. 